Hello, I'm Jared, back with another demonstration experiment on the water cycle. And this is pretty cool. We're going to do the water cycle in a baggie. We're going to make it rain inside this bag. Really cool. So the shorter baggies can work, but I find the bigger baggies, the Ziploc baggies are the best. You want a nice clean seal and you want some space for that water cycle to happen, that evaporation, condensation, precipitation, then accumulation to happen. So I'm going to draw a design on this and I'm just using a Sharpie marker so it doesn't come off. I'm going to draw a sun because that's what powers it. Nice smiley face sun. It's beautiful. I could draw some clouds if I want to. I could draw some ocean waves. Really simple design. Now let's make the water happen. So I'm going to open the baggie, fill it just a little bit with water, trying to keep it off the edges as much as possible. You can see that's all the water I want. It's going to actually be hanging on a window. So if it's heavy, it might actually fall down. Now, you can keep the water in clear, but I find it's really neat if you add food coloring because that's where the magic happens. When the water evaporates and condenses on the side, it's cool to get kids to hypothesize what, what color that water is going to be. So be careful it doesn't splash up on the sides. Just put a few drops of food coloring and you can make it as dark or as light as you want. And I want to seal this up. Make sure it's not open or else the evaporating water will get out of the baggie. So let's hang this on the window and see it in action. Okay, here we are back in Jared's classroom. As you can see, we have a number of these bags just taped up with masking tape on a window. And it's really fun for the kids to watch them during the day. Uh, this is a sunny day, so already the evaporation is occurring and we have water droplets on the side of the bags. One of the things that's really interesting to note, the blue water, only the water is evaporating, so the dro water droplets themselves are clear. You could ask the kids to uh, hypothesize why that is. So now we're going to zoom in on one of the bags here with the smiley face sun, and we're going to see if we can make it rain in the bag. We're just going to tap gently on the bags to see if a few of those drops that are on the side will kind of get together and fall down. But using the water cycle in a bag is really a fun way for kids to see the water cycle in action and to really understand it. We're tapping there, and you can see a little bit starting to rain inside the baggie. Water cycle in a bag. Thanks for watching.